So I'm sure most of you have seen or heard about Kai Sinat's new collab with McDonald's and subsequent collab with John Cena. Now, this isn't going to be a video of me going over his full stream, but I just wanted to bring something that I thought was pretty interesting to everyone else's attention since nobody seems to be noticing it. So along with him bringing on John Cena as a special guest, eating the chicken Big Mac and getting phantom taxed, you can't see me, my time now, now. Kai has also announced that he is doing something called the Mafiathon 2. Now, I had no idea when the F word Mafiathon 1 was, but thankfully there's this playlist that tells me it's just another one of those things where he brings on a special guest every day for a month to try and gain subscribers. I have no idea why it's called a Mafiathon when none of the videos have anything to do with the Mafia or are Mafia themed, which kind of seems like the appropriate thing to do. But hey, I'm not black. But some of the stuff he did during that marathon was try karate for the first time, he went to Hogwarts, waxed his entire body, put worms on his face, got hypnotized, and I've seen plenty of people get hypnotized, and this looks like they sexually assaulted you and called it hypnosis. But as you can see, this all happened around a year ago when he was the biggest thing Twitch had to offer. I mean, he broke the record for most Twitch subs with over 300,000, but if we look at his numbers now, he's sitting at only around 70k, which is not bad, I'm not saying it is. But there's obviously a new lady sheriff in town, and her name is Iron Mouse, who as you can see, has almost 14 times the amount of active subs as Kai and has broke his record by almost 26,000 for peak active subscribers. And I'm not here to talk shit about Iron Mouse, I had to look up what they even streamed before I made this video, and apparently she's a VTuber, obviously, who streams herself playing games. Pretty standard. I don't watch her, so if she does other things like art or sing, that's pretty cool too. But this is also because the people I follow don't ever post about her. I don't think I've ever seen anyone I follow or just the stuff that's recommended to me mention Iron Mouse until I saw this post as I mentioned earlier. Kai Sinat has announced Mafiathon 2 will begin with his next stream where he will attempt to overtake Iron Mouse's all-time Twitch sub record. Now there's nothing wrong with a little friendly competition, even though this is heavily one-sided with the other side not even really caring about what's going on, but as I'm watching this announcement take place, I realize that this is John Cena, not the biggest celebrity, but definitely one of the people you have to be pretty popular yourself for him to agree to be a guest on whatever platform you're on. But then I start realizing that it's not just John Cena, but Kai has had more celebrity guests than I can count on his streams. He's done multiple collabs with Speed, somebody who is literally recognized internationally. He's been in Mr. Beast videos. He has a collab with one of the biggest fast food companies in the world. He's even in commercials now with Snoop Dogg and Patrick Mahomes. And you're gonna tell me he's in fourth place when it comes to streamers? Nah, you're obviously wrong. Run, run, run the numbers again. And they're like, it's a website, they ran the numbers for us. And you're like, somebody who's had Kevin Hart on his stream multiple times is in fourth place? Kill me now. Like, isn't it crazy to anyone else how Kai is literally the face of streaming now, along with a few others? But when you think streamer, Kai is one of the first people that comes to mind. And this guy still isn't number one? I don't really know how Twitch subs work, I know you have to pay for them. But like, how is it that he's doing all of this and is actually losing subscribers while Iron Mouse streams herself playing a game and she's big balling with subs? And again, I'm not talking shit, I'm just saying it's funny how Kai has to do all of this, meaning all these collabs, the celebrities, the setups for playthroughs, just to try and catch up to her. Like he made his own fucking basketball league where he thanked her. I don't know if y'all know, but my sub record got broken today. My, my world record for streaming, it got broke today. But look though, no, no, Iron Mouse, okay? I wanna go ahead and congratulate, I wanna go ahead and congratulate Iron Mouse Iron for breaking my record. Which is again crazy because to my knowledge, Iron Mouse has not had anywhere near the amount of celebrity guests that Kai's had. And what's even crazier is that this is a screenshot from a TikTok uploaded a little more than a year ago where Kai reacts to Iron Mouse having more active subs than him. And back then, she was even beating him by a lot. And if we compare that to the numbers I took in this screenshot this morning, she has gained almost 70,000 subscribers while Kai has gained 84. Eight, four. And this is the guy that can literally call your favorite artist at any time and bring them on stream. I'm sure if Iron Mouse wanted to, she could, but she's not, and she's still beating Kai. Part of me is now realizing, though, that he is not gaining any subs because his fans stay the same age, like that Matthew McConaughey line. I get older, 
they stay the same age. Like when Kai said his content wasn't for kids, I think he was confusing people watching his clips on Twitter for people watching his streams. Because I'll watch clips of your stream all day long, so long as I don't have to endure the four hours before that it took to get to that moment. But us non-kids are not sitting down like, yeah, I wonder if I'm going to watch Netflix, Hulu, or the Kai Sinat stream. Fuck off. Look at this face you made in this screenshot. This is how the thumbnails on the YouTube kids videos be looking like. Might turn them into a cake, who knows. But yeah guys, I just wanted to talk about this real quick because no one else other than this one tweet I found replying to the video is even thinking like, yeah, how come he isn't the biggest streamer in the world right now? Or the most, or at least has the most subs? Like, wasn't everyone making fun of this one girl for winning streamer of the year over Speed? And it's like, I bet if you look at her numbers, she has a consistent amount of viewers where Speed and Kai's is like a fucking heart monitor and does die out at sometimes. Obviously, Kai is now more popular outside of streaming than he was when he broke the record last year. But if Iron Mouse already has four times the amount of current subs than you after doing all of what you did in the past year, then I don't really see a point of you breaking the record if you're just going to drop back down the fifth place. She took the number one spot and has stayed there consistently. Step your shit up, Kai. Until then, first time you see my face, see you guys tomorrow. Peace.